support us on Patreon to get access to member-exclusive benefits and first dibs on the latest Manchester United news. Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. Um, and today I'm going to talk about uh, Bruno Fernandes. Um, Bruno Fernandes uh, again. Um, and just to lay this up, up to I'm a day, a day behind Benny, but let's just get into it. Before we get in, I swear, actually, sorry, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. Um, so it was actually posted late yesterday, and I'm just tracking it up now because um, I'm still recovering from the Liverpool game. But anyway, um, basically, Bruno Fernandes himself has told, this is coming from Sky Sports, um, basically, Bruno Fernandes. Um, has told someone he is desperate to join Manchester United. Obviously, there's a lot of him coming from the press saying he is very desperate to join Manchester United in this transfer window. Uh, and even coach, his head coach, basically Silas, actually says that Bruno Fernandes deserves to be playing in the Premier League and Fernandes is making his feelings known to the sporting um, hierarchy. Um, but according to the deal, everywhere from Lisbon to even Sky now saying the deal is in the balance because the reality is, is that, um, you know, Apparently, there was a deal of 60 million was close to being agreed, with United paying 43 million upfront and 70 million add ons. It is now thought that Sporting are not totally happy with the structure of the deal and would want more money upfront, but, but agents' fees may have complicated the payments plan. There is obviously something regarding the fact that with these add ons, these add ons are, you know, essentially it's 43 million, and, and Sporting has been want 60, 60 million. Okay, which is about 80, 80, 80 million euro equivalent. Um, and these add-ons are, you know, ridiculous. Things like, you know, winning the Champions League, winning the treble, um, you know, uh, going to see them being all these different sort of things that the, the likelihood of them happening um, is just not going to happen, um, at least with this current squad. Um, Sporting Lisbon are defiant um, that they, and they're not budging with the price tag. And so... As I posted in my previous video, Ed Woodward and the hierarchy um, are refusing. Um, are they refusing um, to pay for Bruno Fernandes? And that's the stumbling block at the end of the day. The stumbling block at the end of the day is that Ed Woodward and the board, they're refusing to pay £60 million pounds sterling for Bruno Fernandes in the giant transfer because they do not want to overpay. Um, and frankly, that is, it's an embarrassment, it's a tragedy, and uh, this, this deal is basically in the balance. Um, let me know what you think, guys. Um, if you think that we're continually run as a joke, um, if you think that um, we will actually sign Bruno Fernandes because it's getting increasingly likely that that we may not. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please remember to like, like if you like the vid, share and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash the notification once the latest news. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.